So today I'm going to be showing you how to check your INR with a Coagucheck XS monitor. This is a prescription thing for blood clotting disorders. And I'll show you all the parts that we have. So we have our Lancet pen. I like these much better. It's a little less painful than the one-use finger sticks. And we have our little uh, the soft clicks, the little poker that you put in there. And they come in a box like this, so you just want one. So we're going to set that down. We take that and put that back in there. We're going to turn on our machine by pressing the power button. We'll give it a moment. It's ready to receive a stick. So, we'll take one of these. Never leave these sitting open. They need to stay closed. They don't last very long if they're open to the air. So we take one of our, our sticks. You follow the way the arrows show. There's a little area right there. So we're going to gently insert it gives a beep and it says is this number 78 you cross check it to your bottle of strips so yes this is 78 so we're okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the M button I like to think of it as saying mm-hmm that's the one I have so we'll let that sit and that takes um, about half a minute to get ready and while we're doing that we're gonna take an alcohol swab and choose a finger any finger We'll use this one. You want to clean it off with the swab. Real good. Clean your fingers that you're going to be touching. And just let it air dry. Give that alcohol some time to, to dry off. Well, what we should have done first. And it's ready. So now we're going to put our soft clicks. We're going to twist it to take off the little protective cover. Now you can see, maybe, there's a little tiny needle on there. And we put our lid back on. There's a little notch in the lid to line up with this part. So you got to get it even and it clicks right in and you can change how deep the stick goes from, I believe, a five, which is really deep, down to a one, which is very shallow. I like to do mine about three and a half. So what we do is we press this in the end and that primes the little needle in there to poke your finger. And let's just clean off our finger one more time. This is counting down on a timer so you have about two minutes to put your test on there, your blood for the test. So I like to squeeze my finger like this or get a little pumped and then press it against and then press this yellow button which will turn yellow once you prime the pump and push a little stick doesn't hurt too bad and then you just squeeze well, that's a nice good sample so what we're going to do get a little bit more oh i'm dripping everywhere See, this is what normally happens when I try and do a test. I have a bit of a difficulty. So we wipe it off, we let it dry. Let's get another drop. That's a nice one. So we're going to just let it fall gently, gently. Get it in the little center area. And then put some pressure on where you poked your finger. Now, it'll take some time to think. It's going to display a QC, just quality check. That means you know that the blood sample was good. And we just wait. And it gives us our result. My INR is currently 2.6, which is okay. It's within my range of 2.5 to 3.5 that I need for my lupus anticoagulant. And if you get an error, it'll go beep, beep, beep. 
and you just have to use another stick. I sometimes have problems with applying the the blood properly and I get an error code so sometimes I have to have help and you can put a little band-aid on your finger if it's still bleeding but that's it and it's very easy and simple so then you dispose of your strip in the trash throw away all the stuff and make sure the lid is back on on your strips you don't want the air getting to them you take off this little lid again and what we do is we pull and it shoots it out and that can go in the trash now I like to put the little topper back on and dispose of it in the trash and that's it